everyone was confused. Linda Reed was worried about her 15-year-old grandson, a high school student in Patterson, who didn't want to take the park tests. She claimed he got bullied into it. She said that he was so he had to take the test or he wouldn't graduate. I thought it was unfair that the state would change um, graduation requirements and midstreams and not notify parents ahead of time or let the you know, kids know what they needed to do. That's when I got angry and I contact the Education Law Center. The state imposed new graduation requirements on students, including students in the class of 2016, without going through the legally required process to do so. The Education Law Center sued New Jersey's Department of Education, which settled the case last week. Bottom line, passing the park test is no longer required for high school graduation. For the class of 2016, 10,000 high school seniors who have no other standardized test scores to submit like SATs or ACTs, will have to file portfolios of their schoolwork for review to get a diploma. Students can use either prior graded classwork from their high school courses uh, or they can use uh, their, their uh, answers to tasks that are set by the district. For the 10,000 or more students who are still in limbo, the settlement now provides extra protections as they go through the portfolio review process. Individual districts must review every student portfolio and that can take a couple days each. Students can appeal to the state. The labor-intensive task will stress state-run districts like Patterson, where 600 seniors will probably file portfolios. The settlement sets a September 1st deadline. It's going to take a lot of work, and unfortunately that work is going to cost money as staff, you know, be it you know, throughout the day or throughout the summer to make sure these children graduate. The state DOE said it was pleased with the settlement and noted regulations that are necessary to establish park as the graduation requirement have already been proposed to the State Board of Education and will be formally adopted in late summer as a final step. But the co-chair of New Jersey's Joint Committee on the Public School says after this mess, it's time for a total overhaul. I'd like for the Joint Committee to take a look at testing statewide from grade three through 12, how many tests are necessary, how many assessments are really necessary, which are the vetted ones, and if in fact uh, we need an exit exam for graduation here in New Jersey. Not all states do that. While they wait for their portfolios to be evaluated, students will be allowed to march with the other seniors in graduation exercises. They still won't know if they're actually gonna get a diploma. In Patterson, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.